requested tutorial on whiteboard animation whiteboard animation how to use the bini app step one you look for free stock by going to www.pixels.com to search so i've already registered on this pixel.com so i have photographic items so another way to get free stock is to just go to your google and download the actual stock you want to use like this i typed picture of a man standing then look at it in my gallery as you can see it's already downloading png format when it's in png format it's usually in black background so it will have erased the background that's the meaning of being in png format so another one i did is also man making announcement so here are the pictures of the man making announcement but all these ones as background so i won't be picking any one of them i'll actually go to go back again and search for the ones that have this kind of background so it will be easier for me to at least remove the background all right so i've actually picked the one i want among these ones so i think i'm good to go okay the next items i will be looking out for is um a man taking notes yeah immediately after downloading all i'm always cost checking if they have saved to my gallery so i'll own my data again and now if look for a man taking notes on google and i'll check the images and see the one i would like among them and actually use any of it so i think this particular one i saw doesn't it has a, it has a background it came with a background so i'll still have to pick it and here is how i remove an image that has background in my on my phone because sometimes the image you might like might have a background and you can also just pick it and change the background away from it so i have this app called the background eraser hub that's what i use to remove background from all my images so i'll tap on it click on erase and all the adverts you are seeing is because my data is actually on so it's as you can see it has removed the background and the background is also black now I'll go to my play store and download the app called the bini app so this is how the app looks like before you come into this area it will ask you to type the name of the project you want to work on so here i am typing all my text as you can see, I'm resizing and reshaping the text, editing for corrections, reducing the sizes. And on this area of text, we have font size change. We have the placement of the text. Maybe you want it in the middle, you want it at the side, you see there. I also have the re-edit, that is maybe you finish typing and you want to add a word or a letter you can easily click on the pencil icon and we adjust what you've written then we have the size duration that is because it's an animation so we have to choose how long you want it to display how long you want it to stay as you can see here i have it as 0.2 but depending on the project you are creating this is a school hard i'm actually creating so you can use it for your tutorials or anything so you, depending on that then you save and choose the length of time you want that item to display so like this i'm done creating all my text and as you can see i actually tried picking a uh, stock so now this is how i picked it i tap on the sticker from the hub so i go to my page one board I click on the animation I want to use as you can see all my animations are already on my phone so for page 2 the animation I want to use is this but my text is blocking it so I have to readjust then I click on the pencil I the three dots beside the animation and that was how I was able to readjust my text and my picture okay so if you are done doing that then you can move to the next slide can you see this is the beginning this is how it's looking like i can also readjust or make it bold to be able to look have a little bit more fitting i think it's okay this way anyway but yeah 
let's do it like this then i move to the third slide and also look for an a sticker that will be fitting that i play the video to see how it's looking like so i can know if i'm to continue that way or to adjust something so this is the area i was done but i haven't picked now let's pick for our third uh, animation that is our board before we go to music so we have sticker test background and and that's it so i'll delete how to reorder a particular area in this side you can click on the three dots to see this and you will be able to adjust your elements maybe you want the hand to pick the man first so if i play this video you said the man is coming first you know earlier i typed my test first so when i click on hand and select the hand i want the hand is usually picking like the second slide as you can see the test came in before the um png image so now I'll click on rearrange element to readjust it to make sure everything is coming in order that is the images before the um the text so now i can go to my gallery and select the particular music but i think i'll change this music <laughs> it's not making sense here. so now sometimes you might have issue if the paid version of the mini app you are using is not the one you pay directly those these sites they are very very sharp so it might be hanging but nevertheless if you have this mini beside your app or your project work then watch to this end so you get to know how i'm able to remove it because we don't want logo showing in our whiteboard animation everything else to be clean so now this is what i did i first of all bring in the image from the start again just like the way i did it from the beginning then i typed my text after which okay so you type your text again and adjust to preference the size the duration you have the delete downward you have the copy so you just go through the app play around it and you're good to go in every area you want to go in that regard so the next thing is to play from beginning and to look at how it's looking like as you can see the image is coming first and the text is coming next yeah this is slide two and this is how it came out now i think i have to play slide three and bring in my sticker first and image go to my gallery and bring in that man taking note here is it so i'll go up to resize and also type my text and for my text here i'm writing my address and my contact details for the school ad and i also resize and make sure it's at the right place i want it to be so i'm going to reduce it from 100 percent downward i think 50 is enough so i'm not going to make the text a little bolder so i'll play it and then this time around i pick my music so the particular music i play for the first one i think it's not making sense so i'll click on it back and delete that record and i'll pick this arrangement um music i think this one is better so to remove my hat permanently i have to watch a video that's the rule as you can see the ad is removed now i have to save the project to my device and since it's already pasted i'm good to go all right guys you can join my video editing class to learn more about editing tutorials and how to edit videos and how to promote your brand through videos type or call my whatsapp number at 0817505374 yeah so thank you for watching if this video was helpful kindly 
like comment share and subscribe to the channel so you get more updates on videos tutorials like this all right this you tried saving your work and you decide that the logo there is not fitting it there's that bini logo you are seeing over there i actually like my work being professional so i do remove the logo you watch from the beginning of the tutorial you see the app doesn't have this logo because i paid for it so when i delete that and i decide to re download the app it came with the logo so you can also watch a video hard and the logo will be removed for free currently the video is being removed for free and it can say i have to watch a hard of 30 seconds and they'll tell me reward granted and i'll save my video so after which i get to play and share the video to wherever i like sometimes i share it to my whatsapp sometimes i share it to my i make it safe on my gallery all right so this is the end result of our work <laughs>